I'm Alex Udrus from Bold Method, and today we're going to take a look at a high-speed topic, swept wings. It's hard to imagine when you're sitting on a 737 that the air traveling over your wing could be moving supersonically. But if those wings weren't swept, that absolutely could be the case, and it comes down to something called the critical Mach number. That's a speed that at some point on your airplane, maybe your wing, maybe your fuselage, airflow reaches a supersonic speed. So think about this. As air travels over the wing, it accelerates, and while you might be flying Mach 0.75, your wing could be accelerating the air to Mach 1 plus, supersonic flow. And as that slows down into the subsonic range, it creates a shock wave, which bleeds energy through drag and can cause the airflow behind it to separate. By sweeping the wing, we actually delay the supersonic flow and raise the critical Mach number by tricking the wing to make it feel like it's flying slower than it really is. We do this by creating two different components of airflow. The cordwise component travels perpendicular to the leading edge along the cord line. That's the only component that accelerates, and since it's less than the total amount of airflow, we're only accelerating part of the air, which means we can fly faster before we have supersonic flow. However, we're also creating a spanwise component of flow, which moves parallel to the leading edge from the root to the wingtip. And as you move out to the wingtip, that spanwise component stacks up, making the wingtip feel like it's flying slower than it actually is. So when the airplane stalls, the wingtip stalls first, and you lose aileron control. Originally, designers started to add stall fences to block the spanwise flow. Over time, supercritical wings and other designs have helped minimize spanwise flow. But it still leaves us with one other problem. And that is that the wing always feels like it's flying slower than it really is. High speeds? Not a problem. But when you're taking off or landing, you have some bad low speed handling characteristics. We solve this by adding trailing edge flaps and leading edge slats and slots. But those are a topic for another video.